On the Rollin Justin robotic platform, we test different ways to operate assistance robots from a distance. This technology can also be useful for taking care of patients with highly infectious diseases or who are in quarantine. In the use case shown in this video, the humanoid assistance robot Rollin Justin provides support for senior citizens and for people with moderate restrictions in mobility helping them to live safely and independently within their own four walls. Across the world, people are living longer. 20% of the people living in Germany are past retirement age, and this portion of the population is increasing. Users often assistance robots such as Justin can rely on the help and support of friends, relatives or carers who can access and control the robot over familiar interfaces such as a smartphone or a tablet. They can also receive professional help from doctors or nurses via direct teleoperation from a control centre. The task demonstrated here by researcher Michal Panzer is to fetch a glucose injector from a drawer and to simulate administering an injection to the patient on the sofa. While many motions can be automated, such as opening the drawer and picking out the injector, others are more difficult or even unsafe to automate. In this demonstration, the operator first uses an intuitive tablet interface to retrieve the injector from the drawer. In structured environments, such as the kitchen area here, Justin can use his knowledge management system to recognise objects in his field of view and present the operator with possible actions related to these objects. To administer the injection, however, the operator teleoperates Justin directly through the HUG haptic device. The operator's head movement is tracked, allowing him to look around Justin's environment. By moving his own hands and arms, he can move those of Justin, and he also feels the forces that Justin feels. In this way, he feels present in Justin's environment. This kind of haptic teleoperation can also be used to command the other robotic systems at our institute. The two modes of teleoperation presented are suited to different tasks. At the Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics of the German Aerospace Centre, we are interested in how to combine these ways of operating Justin to make him the optimal robotic avatar, and also in exploring the limits of what is possible in teleoperation. These kind of teleoperation procedures can be a baseline against which to test upcoming artificial intelligence solutions in these scenarios. Assistance robotics is the core of the research project SMILE. The vision of the SMILE project is to help people with restricted mobility or physical disabilities to enjoy more fulfilling and independent lives. To check out all the research we have going on at our institute, Click the links in the video description to find out more about the project or to take a virtual tour of our lab.